Well, happening today, neighbors in a Milwaukee County community are begging officials to block a new cell phone tower. Now, a church has agreed with representatives from T-Mobile to lease part of its land to the company so it can put up the 100-foot tower. Pete Zervakis explains why neighbors might be powerless to stop it. So when I look out my front window, I'm going to see it. The 100-foot cell tower, similar to this one, would go up on the property of St. Stephen the Martyr Lutheran Church near 51st and College. I don't see people wanting to move close to something like that. A lease has already been agreed upon. Neighbors like Craig Presley worry the tower will decrease their home values. They're also concerned about the impact on their health, citing findings from the University of California's School of Public Health. Well, I think benevolent purposes are, are a wonderful thing to do, but there's a cost benefit of that as well. And I think the risk to the community is much greater than any good that they may do elsewhere. But the church argues statistics from the American Cancer Society and World Health Organization indicate cell phone towers cannot be linked to negative health effects. It also says data on the impact to property values is mixed and that if the church had not taken the opportunity to lease its land, a local business would have. In a statement, the pastor says, we felt routing the lease monies into the outreach and benevolence of a church was better than handing the funds over to a company. Tonight, Greendale's Board of Trustees will review the proposed lease. It already cleared the Planning Commission. In Greendale, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. Tonight's meeting at 7 p.m. at Greendale Safety Center. Those opposing the tower say there's really not much the village can do because state law requires that it be approved as long as it meets basic safety requirements, things like distance from the property line.